Welcome everyone to another installment of uh, Managed Design's Bluebeam Tech Tip Blog Spot. My name is Ted Berg, Applications Engineer here at Managed Design. And today we're going to talk about using Bluebeam in a little bit different way than you probably have uh, used it in the past. Uh, if you're going to be collaborating, marking up, um, and sharing uh, uh, Bluebeam PDFs or PDFs, uh, Bluebeam is definitely the tool for it. But today we're actually going to use it kind of in place of an engineering tool. So we're going to actually create a drawing from scratch uh, instead of opening up an existing drawing and marking it up. So what we're going to be doing today is looking at how we can do material takeoffs, and in this case, for a roofing company. But I think when you're done looking at this, you can realize that this same uh, way of doing things could be applied to just about any industry, no matter what it is you want to uh, get a quick bid or material takeoff for. So let's get started. Today we're going to do a flat roof repair, uh, re-roofing a building. So imagine that uh, we are on the roof of a building with the iPad version of Bluebeam Review. We're going to sketch out a rough sketch of what that roof looks like, right? And this grid is set to one inch equals a foot. <clears throat> so I'm throwing that in there. There's also another little accessory structure out here in the parking lot. Um, you also want to take a, a cutout over here because there's a large atrium in the middle of the building. You don't need any roof over that area, so we're going to subtract that from this overall square footage by doing a cutout on there. Also associated with uh, with these drawings are roof penetrations. All roofs have all kinds of vents in them, wherever they might be. So I'm going to drop these in uh, on the drawing just in a few places as we go around the screen. And they don't probably need to be dimensionally accurate in this particular case. They just more or less want to know where they are and the quantity of them because there's costs associated with dropping those in. So there's one over there. And we also have on the roof some rooftop units, RTU units, and those also have costs associated with <clears throat> trimming the roofing material around them, flashing around them, and uh, all of the costs associated with with the rooftop units. There's even one here on the accessory structure. Okay, we've got all that laid out, pretty good layout, quick, just about as quick as you could sketch it with pen and paper, but maybe not as neat and pretty. And we're going to verify our dimensions here on the length building just to make sure that our structure is what we think it is. We've got our tape measure, we're collecting all this information. We realize that this dimension is not 20 feet, it's really supposed to be 22 feet. No worries there. I'm going to zoom into that corner, grab that grip, drag it down two notches, snaps to our grid, drag that down two notches, grab our dimension and bring it back down to the end, and it verifies it is in fact 22 feet. Okay? So we've got our layout all done as quick or even quicker than you can probably do it with a pen and paper uh, while you're up on the roof using your iPad, but also associated with this now. If we look at the metadata associated in the markups list, all of this information that we've been sketching on here has been building our parts list. So it took all the square footage from both buildings. Here we have building area one, $27,000 associated with it because the total square footage is 1146. Accessory structures 117 for a cost of $2,778.75. This is all completely customizable for your cost per square foot. What you want to include in there depends on whatever it is that your materials are on the on the particular job. So easily customizable. And also counted uh, eight roof penetrations at $34 a piece for a total cost of 227, excuse me, 272. And all the RTUs had found seven of those for a total cost of 1000 So as quickly as you can lay out with a pad and, pad and paper, you can get Bluebeam to do all of the calculations for you so that while you're at the customer's site, you can give him an almost instant quote on what you think your costs are associated with it. Now, of course, you can add complexity to this, uh, all kinds of other formulas, doing totals and different types of calculations depending on the materials you're using. But you can see how this could be applied to lots of different industries, no matter what you're doing, whether it's landscaping, carpet, tile, in this case, roofing. Uh, and if you need help getting this stuff set up, we are here ready, willing, and able to help you get this kind of customization done so you can get out there and win more jobs. Got any questions? Come see our website, check out our blog tips, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.